Quite a sunny day here in Kampala, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to welcome you to the biggest campus TV show. I'm talking about Campus 101 with the Australian number one for Africa, MC Casmo. I know some of you guys call me the Campus King Africa. Now today I'm visiting a university that is literally in the heart of Kampala and I'm talking about Victoria University. I've been to this university a couple of times so you guys who have been following up my shows have been seeing me to this university. Now today I came to join them for their open day. And the question I have for them, how do they understand an open day? Because I know somebody at home, you think an open day is when students return at campus. No, my dear. Let's find out what they think about the open day. Welcome aboard. It's Victoria University. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes when we don't know what's the problem, we don't know what will be the solution. Just like uh, once me and my friend, we were working on a, on a budget, and my friend took almost one week to finish the budget, and that was with so many mistakes. And then I asked him what happened, and he said, it's not easy, I was up all the night using the calculator to calculate. So sometimes he did not know that MS Excel could help him. The same way, sometimes, we do not know what are the solutions. Sometimes we, we don't know what's the difference between what I want to do and what I want to pick up. That's all for now. I'd not like to bore you very much. Thank you, welcome, and have fun. All right, guys, we're still starting up here for the Open Day at Victoria University. I'm enjoying this because I'm learning so much from business to health to technology and so much more. Let's get to hook up with more students right now. Yes, indeed, and we find out what they feel about the open day. Aisha, I always love ambushing you, you know that. Come and talk to me. How are you? Hi, how are you? Good, assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you finding 2018? It's been a while, you know? Well, I'm back. 2018 is good. The day has started nicely. So, like, everything is fine, yeah? Everything is fine. You're yeah. loving everything. Everything is you're good. You've been paying the taxes? Well, well, well. We're still thinking, thinking. But we're good girls. We pay taxes, of course. Taxes. Yeah. Or you wait until you come back to campus and you use the wireless, like one of your friends was saying. Well, that's an advantage for me. So, I have to take the advantage, you know? We have to grab the opportunities, yeah. All right, let's talk about the open day. Um, You as a person, how do you understand an open day? Well, an open day to me, it's like an opportunity for students to come and learn more about the school. Yeah, you get to know more about Victoria University. So it's a nice thing. Yeah, I think it's a nice thing that the university does because the visit tells students about the school. Yeah, it's something so, so nice. Yeah. I'd like to welcome you all to Victoria University. I'll just mention a few of the other steps our students have taken. Just two weeks ago, Students of public health sciences did what we call a community diagnosis in Wakiso district. Clap for yourselves. They discovered that a certain community within Wakiso was at the brink of a cholera outbreak. Do you understand the significance of this? What the students did, the design interventions in the form of community sensitization to curb this risk. Potentially, an outbreak of cholera was broken by our students. students, our guests for today, I hope you're enjoying yourselves. You've all moved around, isn't it? And I, I know I've seen nearly all of you in my office. I just came from meeting the last group right now. So we are now one, we are one community. You know a lot about 
Victoria University already. Um, we'll just now tell you really the icing, the icing on the cake. And the professor has just done a wonderful job. Thank you, Prof. Thank you for your speech. Um, in the Faculty of Science and Technology, we have a very great responsibility. As you know, everything now in the country or in the world that has to do with an operating system or uh, a manufacturing process or a data processing uh, facility or anything at all, any machinery now, any entertainment, any anything, any sound system, whatever, vehicles, anything, medical equipment, all, all of these things are now uh, computer system operated. Not so. So we have a big responsibility to train, equip, and turn out students who are going to be useful in operating and expanding our economy, our industry, our institutions. Dr. Terry, nice meeting you again. Nice meeting you again. How are you? All right, how are you finding the day? Fantastic. We've had a good time. Do we study this is the first open day uh, Victoria University is hosting? No, no, not at all. I think it's the second or third. Second or third. Why? Now, you as uh, the head of this faculty, uh, in terms of technology, what do you think about students using VPNs and not paying the taxes? Do you think it's a cool idea that students do use it? That's a tricky one because... <laughs> Well, it's trending, you know. This yeah. Is, yeah. Um, I'll just say this: that once something is uh, not against the law, then it's allowed by the law. Now, there's no law which has come and say you are not, you can, you may not use VPN. So, if there's no law preventing the use of VPN, that means the law allows it. Okay. Yeah. So in other words, Dr. Terry, you haven't paid OTT yet. I've actually paid. I paid immediately. Day one, I paid six thousand. For one month. One of your students was like, uh, they are enjoying the wireless. It's like uh, when they come to school, it's all about wireless. When they go back home, they forget about social media. But anyway, let's talk about the open day. You as a person, what do you understand by an open day and what are the essentials of having it in a university? Okay, nearly all the universities have got open days. It's a day that the university opens out actually to the stakeholders. Uh, one of our most important stakeholders now are the parents and the students, the potential students to come in and see what we have. Question, what is education, okay? Uh, education is uh, passing on knowledge from one generation to another. Education is a process that we go through in life that equips us with knowledge and skills on how to come situations of life. Education is the process of acquiring knowledge, skills and attitudes from the time one is born to the time he dies from a trained personnel. It is choosing the best career in a given generation. I think the response these uh, two have given is welcome to our philosophy as a university that we must transform society we must educate individuals so that they are meaningfully placed in the society where we live. I, I saw you testing your students here and telling them something that you've been mentioning and mentioning all over and over when you're discussing with them, it was business. Exactly, that is everybody's business. Because in this life, the focus of every event is to solve problems. You understand? So when you identify a problem, you provide solution, then when you provide solution, you have money in your pocket, and that's business. And as you can see from the audience that time, he was telling you an example. Yeah, yeah. You know, like I take for example a doctor, medical doctor. Yeah, yeah. You know, he's trained in how to solve problems, people yeah. disease and uh, what have you. So people come to him, you know, for to, to get cured and they just don't go like that. They have to pay. And don't even talk about the doctors. Uh, one of the students say that you told them uh, when you go to a pastor and, and they pray for you and you leave some money, 
on, on, on the table, that is business, right? Yeah, yes. What I was trying to tell them is that, uh, you know, as a pastor, you know, I mean, he tell you he's a servant of God, and there was he uh, in this life for to solve people's spiritual problem. And you know, and you have a lot of spiritual problems right here and there. And people go to church or mosque. You know, when they get their uh, uh, problem solved, what do they do? They pay offering. Some will say pay, I mean, be tied. Some pay prophetic, uh, this thing. All those ones are what? To take care of the pastor's uh, problem too. Now here's what they say. That life is basically a mixture of opportunity mixed with difficulty. Now, the challenges that are faced in my personal life are not very different from every challenge you face. Majority of you here have faced much worse challenges. But the key is, how do you react to whatever life throws at you? How do you react? If you're in the world of work and you're faced with a challenge, it's that ability to assess whatever situation you're facing and say, look here, this solution could possibly solve whatever challenge this organization is facing. So think, critical thinking, think, timeless skills. Thank you for listening. This is an open day. We're going to have so many showcasing from different faculties of this university. As you can see, a couple of faculties, for example, Faculty of Health Sciences, and so many others that we're going to be talking to. But for now, let's sit there and find out what they have for us and how do they understand an open day. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good, what's your name? I'm Joan. Joan, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. All right, now you are under the Faculty of Health Science. Yes, Department of Human yeah. Nutrition and Dietetics. Wow, quite amazing. You, I see a lot of showcasing from uh, your faculty and I'm wondering, how does health sciences get connected with a lot of skits, uh, potatoes and so many other things? Tell me, what are you showcasing here? Well, this is a Department of Human Nutrition, like I said, and basically for us we deal with food, how the food works in your body, so that's why you're seeing the different foods. So there are the good foods and the bad foods. All right, we're still here at the Open Day Victor University meeting up some young people, man. It feels good to be meeting up my fellow young people. But first, let's get to know their school. Which school is this? This is Bethany High School, Nalia. Kololo SS. Uh, you guys have been at the Open Day. What did you love about this university or something? Oh, I love it because we had fun. We enjoyed everything. Uh, the Open Day has been awesome for me. What is that one rule in high school that you don't like? Ask we go for our hair. Ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of Campus 101, Victoria University Open Day. And I'm here with my friends from East High School. Make some noise one more time. Oh